Well everyone, I hope this show today has actually helped you, especially those of you who don't get a good night's sleep, if you've been struggling to get to sleep. And there have been many tips, including nutritional tips, um, lifestyle things that you can put into practice as well. Lots of different things. And also, as, as we saw earlier, Louis mentioned exercise, which is also great for helping you to feel better about yourself in general. However, if you do try all of these things and still you are struggling, then there is a, a deeper underlying issue. So in my case, for example, I, was, I did a lot of exercise, as I've spoken about before. Weight training was my thing. Thing. I lost lots of weight, I got really fit, really strong, even like in, strong enough to actually compete as well. I was approached to do competition training, which I didn't go into at the time because I was studying. So even though the exercise and all those changes made some difference, but the, the mental health condition was still there, the depression was still there. The exercise and the other things helped to alleviate what I was feeling, but as soon as I was back in my room by myself, I would still feel afraid and I couldn't sleep properly. It used to take me ages to get to sleep. But one of the reasons why I couldn't sleep was because I was actually afraid. I had a lot of fear. I, was, I had a phobia of death. And any time it would get dark, this fear would come and I would find it difficult to sleep. So of course, you know, I'd try to keep the light on wherever I could. At the time I shared a room with my sister, so it was quite hard, but wherever I could, I'd keep the light on or keep the TV on or listen to music, just to try to forget what I was thinking and also to try and help me to sleep. So you see all the other things didn't help because I hadn't actually treated, I hadn't targeted what was actually the real problem, which was the phobia that I had and you know, the other, the mental health stuff that I had as well. So as soon as I started to tackle those things, when I found the right help, then my life started to change. And of course that affected my sleep because now those worries weren't there anymore, that phobia wasn't there anymore, that was removed. So then I was able to sleep and now I sleep very well. So I don't have an issue with sleeping. Sometimes it might take me a little while to get to sleep, especially I've got a lot of work and I'm thinking of a lot of things, but it's not insomnia. So we have to see, you know, there's, there's two different things there. So you have to see what, if you've tried other things, is there an underlying issue? Is there something that you're afraid of? Is there something that you're worried about? It, it could be a relationship that, that you have that isn't going well and maybe you're always arguing with your partner. It, sometimes those things, and I will say not sometimes, actually often, uh, those things are actually what are keeping you up at night because you're reliving things in your mind, you're, you're thinking about things that went wrong. So you really need to see what is it that is worrying me? What is it that is affecting my life day to day? Deal with that and you will also deal with the insomnia. And if you need any help with that, actually, please do contact me. I can put you in touch with some great organizations that can help you, people that you can speak to that can set you on a journey to recovery as well. You can email us on info at chrissybshow.tv.